Hello everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating the multiplication procedure for the three sums that I have mentioned on the paper. These sums have been requested by subscribers of my channel. So let's start with the first sum that is 746 multiplied by 7. Okay. So this is a three digit number multiplied by one digit multiplication. So it will start on the fourth rod that is the thousands place. Okay. This is our thousands place here. And first we'll start with the leftmost digit. So this 7 multiplied by this multiplier 7. So 7 times 7 is 49. So this 49 I'll take from the 4th rod. Okay, starting from the 4th rod. So 49. Then I'll move one place to the neck, uh, to the right that is on the 3rd rod. And then I'll consider the 10th place digit that is 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28. So we'll have to add 28 from this rod. So 2 on this rod will be added using the big friend formula which is minus 8 and then plus 10. For plus 10 I will do plus 5 minus 4 and then 8 is to be added on this rod. Okay, 20 was done on this rod, 8 will be added on this rod. Okay, so I am done with the second step. Now I will move one place further to the right to the tenths place and now I will consider the units place digit that is 6. So 6 times 7 is 42. So I'll have to add 42 from this rod. Okay, so to add 4 on this rod, I'll do uh, minus 6 plus 10 and then 2 on the units place. So 42 is also done. So the final answer that we have for 746 multiplied by 7 is 5222. Okay, I'll just write down the answer. 5222. Coming to the second sum, that is 125 multiplied by 8. So similar fashion, we'll start with the fourth rod. The first number is 1. Okay, the thousand, uh, hundreds place digit is 1. The leftmost digit is 1. So 1 times 8 is actually 8. But in case of abacus, we have to be careful that we take it as 0, 8. A two digit answer for any multiplication. Uh, one digit into one digit multiplication. Okay, so 1 times 8 will be considered as 0, 8 and not just 8. So 0 on the fourth rod and 8 on the next rod. That is the third rod. Then we'll move one place to the right to the third rod and then consider the second digit that is 2. 2 times 8 is 16. So 16 will have to be added from this rod, third rod. So 1 on this rod, 6 on the next rod. Then again we'll move one place to the right. Then consider the last digit that is 5. 5 times 8 is 40. So 40 will have to be added from this rod that is the second rod. So adding 4 will be done using the big friend formula which is minus 6 and then plus 10. For plus 10 I don't have anything available here. So I'll have to use the big friend for 1 which is minus 9 plus 10. And the multiplication for 125 multiplied by 8 is done. So the final answer that we have is 1 and 000, zero, zero that is 1000 okay now, coming to the third question that is 427 multiplied by 3 we'll again start from the fourth rod first we'll consider leftmost digit so 4 times 3 is 12 so 12 will be taken from the fourth rod 1 here and 2 here Moving to one place to the right, we'll now consider the next digit that is 2. 2 times 3 is 6 but we'll again have to consider a 2 digit answer. So it will be 0, 6 and not just 6. Okay, so 0, 6. So 0 on this rod and 6 on the next rod. Okay, we have to be very careful in, with steps like these because if we uh, take just 6, the entire answer will be wrong. Okay, so 2 times 3 was taken as 0, 6. 0 on this rod, 6 on the next rod. Now moving one place to the right again. Then 7 times 3 is 21. So 21 will be added from this rod. It will be 20 here and 1 here. So the final answer that we have for 427 multiplied by 3 is 1281. Okay. I hope this video has clearly explained the procedure for all these three sums and will be helpful to all of you. Thank you.